Nick, what's your topic? My topic, of course, comes from Twitter. As all topics do for the show, right? All four of them? No, just yours. Just mine. Yes, yours. That's so why people should follow you. Nick underscore Scarpino. Tweet you topics. If you have a week. topic, like... Hashtag topics so you know it's a topic and not just a question. Like at PowerMan293. Topic for the GOG show. Almost PowerMan5000. Yeah, he's, he's Almost. a little off. <laughs> well, PowerMan5000 has gone down a little bit. Maybe it is PowerMan5000. Like, we can't, <laughs> we can't keep 5, Listen, so We're not going to lie to you and say we're 5000. We're not 5000 right? anymore. We're more like 293. <laughs> uh... Are you guys afraid of uh, of Colin and Greg burning out due to having to talk oh. so much during the day? Because you yes. guys are talking now. I, I fear that every day. I was really hoping. I was just kidding. Are you afraid of Colin and Greg? Period. <laughs> oh, I'm mortally afraid of you guys. And, and then that. Colin opens his phone and he's Power Man. And then we just <laughs> fucking go. <laughs> oh, you ready to go? Oh, and a giant ant bursts go. through the wall. <laughs> We've I been mind controlling. This is what it's like. This is the most overused song I saw Power Man 5000 one time. No, you did not. I did. I did. I think that's Rob told Zombie's story. brother. I've only singer. been to like five concerts in my entire life. Most of them have been like small concerts at like a Starbucks. Uh-huh. Where my friend's like, I'm singing tonight. I'm like, oh, fine, I guess I'll go because I got nothing else to do and there's coffee there. Uh, but the one concert that I have been to was the Summer Sanitarium. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Which was down at the Coliseum in LA. It was Metallica was the headliner. But it was Metallica, Korn, System of a Down, Power Man 5000, and Kid Rock. Oh, Kid Rock! Yeah. That's a pretty. That's a pretty. Great kind of knocked him out there. It was one night hilarious. And Power Man Five Thousand came on, and they did the one song that everyone knows. Yeah. And then they did one more song, and then they were done. So that was it. <laughs> Actually, of all of them, System of a Down was amazing. Oh yeah, oh, System they of a Down was amazing. Rocks, and Metallica, which I was never a huge fan of, uh, because I just I didn't like their sound on their albums uh, or CDs, I guess. An amazing live band. Like, <laughs> an I, album I remember, can be a CD too. I know. But, <laughs> no one I, hears I'm not, I'm not I don't, I don't, I don't want to be the guy that I'm sitting there spinning records and I'm like, oh no, it sounds better on the vinyl. You know, I've never touched vinyl. It does. Sorry, I don't want to touch vinyl. I'm all digital. I don't even you know want to touch you know, my own vinyl. You know who likes? You know who likes vinyl a lot? Ramon. Ramon. Uh. Anyway, they're amazing. What was the topic? Oh yeah, you, are you guys gonna burn out? <laughs> I don't think you're gonna burn out. Well. This week is definitely testing that theory. I'm fresh as rain right now. I don't know if you can tell. Cool. Or not, I woke up at eyes. seven this morning and did an interview in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm doing this show. Then we'll do the Twitch show. Then I have a call with Twitch. Then we're gonna do the game over, uh, the the kind of funny games cast. Then I have another interview for another podcast. So that's a long we're doing day. Kind of funny games cast today too. Mm-hmm. Well, Jesus to. Christ. Strap in. Remember when Kevin this Smith is your said. Life. You are yeah, <laughs> or as I, I found a great Hunter S. Thompson quote because like on Sunday night when we were launching, I was like getting everything ready to launch. I was of course a nervous ball of just energy, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't know what I was watching, but there was a great quote that popped up from Hunter S. Thompson that just said, "Take the ride, yeah. Hunter S. Thompson," and I was like, "That's kismet. That must be that's Hunter S. Thompson from the grave telling me, or is, is he still alive? I can't remember. He's dead. Yeah, oh, he's pretty, long pretty dead. dead. What did you say? It was kismet? Kismet." She's a DC Comics character that like is like controlling the universe out there, and Superman interacts with her once in a while. She's also like fate or karma in, mm. in real life. Mm. Oh, okay. Not to go too far off on a tangent, yeah. but this blew my mind the other day. I was looking up, don't ask me why, through the click hole of IMDb. Yeah. I went from Bond film girls to Superman. Terry Hatcher. And I didn't realize that Terrence Stamp is credited, all three of them, Terrence Stamp, Ursa, and Nan, are credited in the first Superman movie. Because I guess they were yeah. in a scene in the beginning. Yeah, I remember, remember this? No, really? I don't remember this at all. It starts on Krypton with their trial. Does guilty, it? guilty, guilty. I yeah. thought that was. I could have sworn that was a flashback in the second one. They flash back to it, yeah. Oh, okay. But they said it. I remember I Richard watch. Donner filmed them back. Was filming them back to back. Oh right. With the, okay. Because like, he was going to nail them out, and they was going to be that. Those stories got all discombobulated, but they were going to be. I mean, they were awesome to begin with, but they would have been even cooler if they would have left Richard Donner over them. Anyways, burning out. Uh, no, it's our own thing in. The, it's it's fun. The Twitch show is super easy. I mean, Colin, no, I and I, Colin and I joke all the time, or all the time, the last two days, in the fact that Colin and I never met about that show and never talked about it. Colin's like, let's do Mike and Mike for nerd stuff and I'll be the host. I was like, all right. And that was that. <laughs> yeah, the day before, then literally the night before, uh, so Sunday night, I was like, did you want to talk about anything? Uh, should we? And he's like, and you're like, no, not really. I'm like, all right. And I just went to bed. You yeah. Know? And then like, we just got up in the morning and we did it because we've done so many, we've done... Uh, Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shows together, so yeah, it works fine. Yeah. That that show is the least of my concerns. I'm not worried about that show at all. Yeah, uh, I want to make sure the qual. I'm not. I'm not so worried about the burnout. I think we have to just figure out the rhythm in which we we do all these shows. It's <laughs> right. like fucking right. knock Portillo in his face. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think that you know my biggest concern now that we're you know people have been so generous to us on Patreon and people are supporting us so much is I want to make sure that the content is 
A quality at all times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, we're gonna have hiccups and misses. I mean, like we, like everyone does, whether you write or whether you do podcasts or whatever. Um, but my biggest concern is not so much the burnout, but to make sure that people feel like they're getting quality. Yeah. Um, and you know, and I'm not talking about like production value necessarily. I'm just talking about like, is it making you laugh? Is it insightful? Whatever it is. You're yeah, we don't want to just give you an hour of dribble. Exactly. You know what I mean? So that doesn't make sense. So that's a big concern of mine. So far, I think the fact that every show feels very different, at least to me, is a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. Here I'm the host. I try to drive a little bit. I try to do this. Um, Gamescast, Tim's driving, like I said in the first episode, it felt very NPR-ish, you know what I mean? It was like a different level. Uh, you and I just bullshitting for an hour with the kids reading the Twitch is great. Then the Twitch streams at night are super low-key, right? Yeah. Like, so far it's been one of us sitting at the table, the other back here working, Naked. and we just chime in, but it's also super like, okay, whatever, that's the show where, like, last night we, we streamed our first ever Steam game, Axiom Verge, and... Fuck me if we know how to turn the sound down on a Steam game. We couldn't figure it out, so we had to mute it and then just go. And then it's just like, this is like, that's part of that interaction. Twitch yeah. is like, you're in the room with us. Like, you're in the room with us now, obviously, but you also know that we had time to produce this. Let's mm -hmm. make it not crap. You know what I mean? Whereas yeah. if Twitch is crap, big deal. Hey. You can either get it really crappy or you can not have it at all. What do you want? Yeah. How do you want it, Big Tony style? <laughs> that's how you're going to get it. Damn. Uh, and then, yeah, like, right now, I, on the, in the interview today, uh, I was getting interviewed. Uh, it's rough. I'm throwing garbage already. <laughs> it's going to be a long day of podcasts. But, uh, they, yeah, that was, you know, a question, too, of just, like, what is, what's it like right now on the outside? And, like, what's your new, your new life? I'm like, there's no regular schedule. Like, I'm excited yeah. for three weeks from now. When, when we know what we're doing. It's not, it's not a million emails. And we ha we keep, when we, we're getting ready to launch this, we're like, all right, here will be the production timeline on shows. And then that was all out the window as soon as we hit the ground this week. Because it's GameSpot, because of this, because yeah. of the, you know what I mean? So, like... Once we get into a rhythm where we can say, okay, every every week this is what it is, I think it'll be a different thing. Mm -hmm. It'll be more time to breathe. Yeah. But right now, yeah, it's wake up and run, 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 which is awesome. It's and great. Again, I love it. Yeah, yeah it's cool. been cool. Like yesterday was awesome. Like um, going to GameSpot, walking in, answering emails while you guys are doing the show. Mm -hmm. It feels like every day is production, which yeah. it hasn't felt like that in my life in a while. That's gonna burn us out. Eventually, but for right now, it's super exciting. Well, it'll wind down, though, right? I mean, like... I don't think so. It's not going no, But that's to, the man. problem. Is like, every time people give us, you know, come out and show support at patreon.com forward slash kind of funny, um, we have to do more stuff, which is cool. I, I shouldn't say we have to. I should say we get to do yeah, more yeah. stuff, right? But the, the thing I guess we're going to run into eventually is that this is just the four of us, sometimes five, if you count the monkey behind the camera. Yeah. Um, it's going to be... I mean, the days are just getting longer. Like, last night, you called me three times. I was telling Tim, I was like, I feel like I'm working for my mother. Like, you call, you're like, hey. Well, it's because I, 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 I always call you because you make the lower third graphics. Yeah, no, no. And, and so the totally... conversation is either going to go one, one of two ways. One, I can't find it in the fucking right. <laughs> garbage pile of lower Google thirds Drive, we have. Yeah. Google Drive is just a mess of everything. Or two, I'm giving you more work at yeah. 9.30 yeah. at night because I'm so behind. Which I'm totally I'm editing fine. tomorrow's Let's Plays the night before they go live. Yeah, and again, I'm totally fine with that. I'm just giving you shit. But um, that's just, I think, the way our lives are going to be from here on out. That's kind of the life we chose. My, my pl oh, yeah, again, Kevin Smith, you chose this. You chose this. <laughs> I think it won't be that bad because I think we're going to get, once we settle down and there's not, we're going off to do this show or you're going to GameSpot or there's an interview or right. we're going to go to this lunch meeting or we have a dinner meeting that night and it just becomes, all right, there's Colin and Greg every day and they're streaming at 2 p.m. every day. Then it's like, all right, and Tuesday will be the Game Over Greg show and Wednesday will be the games cast and then we'll have a Let's Play day, I guess, on Friday or something like that. And like, once it's those like, you know, modules that are plugged yeah. in, it'll be yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think that one thing that I've been thinking about very, um, very often the last twenty four hours or so has been, you know, we have to get some sort of financial stability amongst us and our business, and make sure we can eat and stuff like that. Like I said on GameSpot yesterday, we are not. Uh, we obviously really didn't do this for the money because yeah, um, we were all pretty well compensated at IGN. Yeah. Um, we did it for the happiness and to directly connect with you guys out there and. And uh, kind of sacrifice maybe the platform, the, the, the reach of the platform for the more sanctity, as it were, of the core audience that really yeah. likes our yeah. stuff. And I want to make sure that they're happy with our stuff. What I've been thinking about in the last day is, is that when we, if and when we find some sort of financial stability, I feel like we're actually a lot closer to hiring someone than I thought we were. Um, in mm. terms of, not in terms of the money we have because we don't have don't. the money, but in terms of what we need. You know? Sure, like, sure, 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 like, sure, sure. I think that... Um, the four of us working constantly is great, and we own it, and we mm -hmm. want it, um, and we're going to do it. It is what we asked for, and, and I'm happier doing this. I'd rather be tired yep. doing this than yeah. awake doing uh, something for anyone else. Yeah, I, agree. I mean, that's, that's the way I feel. 
Um, what motivated me last night to go through and answer every Patreon message was the fact that I love these people and I want them to know they're not talking into a void. And not the Patreon wall, because that thing's out of control. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, I need a day for that. But like to go through and get every message that was sent to us. Because there's a lot of questions of like, ah, I'm new, how do I do this? Blah, blah, yeah. blah. I'm like, all right, all right, I can explain all that. Yeah, I think, you know, but I was just thinking about that specifically. I'm like, you know, because I was, I, I remember thinking like, we don't need to, we don't need help. You know, like, we have Kevin sometimes, and that's great, and we, the four of us are very competent and, and educated and, and, and kind of go-getters and stuff, and then I just started to think, I'm like, we are going to, I think that if we continue to grow, we're going to grow as a staff, and, sure. and, and we're going to need more help, and I think that that will alleviate that stuff as well, but who the hell knows when that happens. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. I mean, like, these people helped us become a legitimate thing. Like, kind of funny, kind of funny games. Like, Nick killed it. On the logo design and all that stuff and the, the mm -hmm. YouTube channel, youtube.com slash kind of funny games looks so legit. Yeah. I look at that, I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah, it's R good. Real quick, I want to call people out we haven't done because it's been such a thing. We're talking about needing help eventually. We had a lot of help coming into this. I want to talk about Graham Reed. Yes. He made the Badass. Colin and Greg live logo that swings up. Uh, he's a graphic designer, obviously. Adam Smith. He's the one who did the new thumbnails for And he also talked about capitalism a lot in the uh, security. Yes, that's true, too. He, yeah. And then he time-traveled here to be a graphic designer, <laughs> yeah. made the unboxing like, thumbs. It was like, 2015, I need to go. And then, of course, <laughs> do, 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 completely do, 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 remiss do, 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 not to mention Panda Musk. Oh, of God, course. Panda yeah. Musk is the guy who, oh, I said, hey, Panda Musk, I need, if you have time, a 15-second loop of animation that we can just put up over and over again for the Kevin Smith podcast. And he said, okay, and he started working on that. And then he said... Here, I made this intro for you, and I said, I didn't ask, this is not what we want, you don't need to do this. He's like, no, no, I just thought, I wanted to do it. And then he's like, you know what, I've decided I can go through and animate head bobs to everyone talking. And so he sat there and made sure everyone's heads bobbed up. He, there's cuts? I don't know, you've watched it's it. It's not even just head bobs, it's the, like, arms, jokes. Arms, Portillo runs by every once in a while. He's got the, he, there's a whole bit where we are outside the quick stop. With Jay and Silent Bob. Really? It's just like, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I gotta yeah. go back and rewatch our stuff. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> but to continue the shout outs real quick. Shout outs. Uh, tone deaf for oh, right. uh, God damn. Music, which now we use his music for like pretty much every single show so if you aren't already twitter.com slash tone deaf q5.com check out his music for sure and also this has been a long time coming but I don't know how to say it Rocco Hus it's R-A-K-O-H-U-S oh yeah he's Rufus the dude he's the bomb yeah he's the dude that made the um, the chiptune intro for kind of funny gamescast it is super awesome he made that for us for the game over Greggy show Months ago, but we never got to. He use also it. did the music that's underneath the Patreon videos. Yes, yes, yes. yeah. And that's we're it. going to be working. With this we guy get asked a lot. that question a lot. Who did that music? It's a R O R A K O H U S. Yeah, if you look him up, he's on he's on Bandcamp and SoundCloud, right? He's he's definitely uh, on Bandcamp. YouTube.com you slash R A K O H U S. Well, go to his Bandcamp so you can support. Well, him. He, he wants the YouTube. He wants okay, the YouTube. All right. yeah. He wants the YouTube, and uh, also hit him up on Twitter and just say thank you from the Game of Radio Show. There you go. Our lives are so stupid. Tell us why, Greg. Uh, you know how we... Well, this isn't... We don't have it yet, but a timeline shifted for a project we submitted for, that one with the thing and the thing and the spray. Great. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. It, it would be due by, like, Tuesday, like the live link. Oh. The live link? Yeah. So that would be fun if that happens. So we'll talk about that. Uh, in a bit. Don't well, I guess we're that. working over the weekend. Yeah, huh? we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, oh, we also left off uh, Cher Stewart. That was the other yes, one. Yes, Cher, thank you so much. Redesigning kindoffunny.com. If it isn't fixed and looks awesome by the time you hear this, then you can go tell Cher to go straight to hell. No, do not do that. I'm do kidding not, around. Anyway, Here's how awesome Cher is. We've given her... Zero direction. Zero direction. <laughs> not only that, but I talked to her a combined one minute. Yeah. I think the other day I was like, hey, Cher, it's Nick. Glad to talk to you for the first time. Listen, this, 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 and this. Okay, bye. And she was like, all right, I guess I'll do what I Same need to Same thing do. with Graham Reed. We would like this show opening. I can't tell you anything about it. We couldn't even tell him we were quitting yet. Yeah. We're doing yes. a live show. It's going to be like this. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Here's a library of music to match things to. Yeah, he did a great job. Great yeah. job. Yeah, we have a lot of rock stars in the community, and, yeah. and, and we appreciate each and every one of you or whatever. But yeah, I've just been thinking about that you know, cognizantly. I'm like... I don't know, like, we have a real company. We, get, yeah. we, get, we also get asked this question a lot, too, right? People are like, do you offer internships? And jobs and everything else. Yes. And I keep telling everybody, holding horses. Yeah, we're trying to figure all that stuff out. Internships are hard in the state of California. They're just really a, a hard thing to get going. I would yeah. love to do that at some point. Um, but, you know, Kevin's looking at me with, like, little like doughy eyes. Like, don't. don't well, he wasn't giving you mean eyes. He wasn't giving you doughy eyes. Don't replace me. Kevin, you're irreplaceable. You're like a Picasso. You're like the you Mona Lisa. Oh, I don't think, but I don't think we're gonna burn out. Talking for sure. Mm. The workload is 
crazy right now, I think that'll temper off easy because it's I you know we need to start now that we know what we're doing or when we start to know what we're doing what a normal day like it'll be easier to shift. I was talking to you guys today. I need help with Patreon, right? Yeah. And that's easy. We can just trade off nights. Yeah. Yep. Messages or now that when we're doing Colin and Greg live, you can go and talk to the wall yep. or whatever. Yeah. And, and the other thing that I've been thinking about too wall. is that my you know maybe maybe not always but my weekends are going to be sacred now you know because like we're working so hard during the weekend sure um and you work you know, i mean maybe not this we're week. definitely going to work this week uh, but but uh you know we work so hard monday tuesday wednesday Thursday, friday and then you kind of have your downtime whatever so you go real hard for five days like a normal person does and then um you break for two days and, and so i'm fine with that i'll be fascinated to see if that's the case that's my not, gut, i'm going hard my gut week. tells me that we are there are just going to be days where we don't have to work and then days where we work and those like literally on Saturday when we were prepping everything, I thought it was Monday. Yeah. I was convinced like it was a day of the week. And yeah. my wife's like, I'm like, uh, do you have any clients you have today? Because my wife uh, has, you know, teaches Pilates. And uh, she was like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, like, what do you have? Like, are they all not back from break yet? She's like, it's Saturday. Yeah. And I'm like, holy shit. And that's just, that's just production. Yeah. Like when you're shooting movies or TV or film or, you know, you're awesome internet superstars like we are now. Um, hey, you just work when you got to work. Yeah. Like last night I had an hour to watch The Living Daylights and I was like, this is the most enjoyable thing because I've earned this. Yeah. Like they said at the end of Private Ryan, earn this. Mm. Greg. I don't remember that part. He's no. dying. He's like, earn What's this. he handing them? Is it, is it the Purple Heart? Dying. I don't know. His, his yeah. hand's dying. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of him's dead. Yeah. All that's moving is his that hand. Last he's thing. trying to write earn this, but he can't. You want, it. you want to know an interesting fact about the Purple Heart? Yeah. Uh, of course. I'm going to give you an interesting fact about Purple Heart. Uh, in the fall of 1945, we were scheduled to invade Japan. It was called Operation Downfall. And we obviously didn't do that. that because of uh, we dropped the bombs and they surrendered. Um, we, in anticipation of what they assumed would be about a million pe- American soldiers dying in the first year of the war in Japan, uh, they made 500,000 Purple Hearts. Um, and the Purple Hearts that are used today for Afghanistan and Iraq are still those Purple Hearts because we never invaded them. So we had like too many of them. So all of the guys in Korea that got injured, all the guys in Vietnam that got injured, all the guys in Iraq that got injured, all the guys in Afghanistan that got injured, all used the Purple Hearts that were supposed to be for the invasion of Japan. That's crazy. That is insane. And there's your history factoid of the day. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. No, that's not the right. <laughs> the failure price is right. So that was a really good one. I wanted something better. <laughs> wow. Apparently I'm tired too. I'm sorry. Yeah, it happens. Know. It's going around. My bad. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about us burning up. I think uh, we'll continue to expand, grow, shift the responsibilities. We'll be all right. And we're also having time over our lives. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. has been fun. We're so thank you for your support. Yeah, no complaints at all. Yeah, for sure. yeah, of course. Does that sound better? Oh, I see what you did. Hey, I thought you actually like do that. something. Yeah, let's actually pause for a second. Let me try something real quick. You just let it run. We can cut this out. Yeah. Or leave it in. What do we care? Yeah. That's very true. That's how we fix it on the go. I'm going to try.